Okay, let's see what we can do next. This yes! this is the shape of the terrain so far. The goal was to show you the tools. So let's just go through a few of them. And then we're going to design, you know, go for the final design before we print. So let's go back to the power nodes. I want to show you this uh, one of the stepper nodes and it's this one here. And also I want to show you this one. This is really important and useful node texture TRS or translate rotate scale. Let's move it here. And also strength node is already inside. So you can see it here and we can uh, we can copy it if we need it, which is often the case. Uh, distort, ah. we have already used it for mapping height. This is for clipping yeah i can show you what it does and uh, if i go to the surface nodes i'll take two from here the first one will be drive waves one yeah let's take this one the second one will be the rocker let's just color them and i don't need this shading for now i'll probably will change the color for now we don't need it and i will color this nodes here color enable and some kind of sandish color like so Control c color this one as well same color height master let's just color it red because it is from the power nodes category and also copy copy from here paste here and paste here let's see what stepper node does i'll use it instead of this one which will also be red i'm gonna plug it here i don't know if it will work right from the start and go here something did happen some kind of waviness let's add a bit more quality to the preview okay so it's kind of waviness going on let me zoom it in we can go to the negative value chaos and if you want to see what we have so far we can of course render it but let's just if i render it now without the blur switch if i rotate or make this uh, positive value, this intensity slider. You will see it. Turn off the high quality. You see, it is interesting. We have these plates going on, which is very useful if you're doing something I see. Even in nature, in reality, there are similar occurrences happening. Let's talk about blur. So if we enable blur switch, so if I enable it, I will zoom it a bit here. So enabled, disabled, it will soften those edges. Problem is that you can't always see exactly how it will look rendered from here, from the preview. So this might require some guessing work. This is where you do your guessing, you know, you see this iteration and wait. So we can go all the way up to, I don't know, 800 or so weight goes all the way to one let's turn this off and press f12 we're gonna wait okay i think we got it right from the start so this is what the stepper node does you have another one which you can test of course turn off the blur every time you're working here because that way you can see what's going on i just play a bit with this scaling and distortion density so here we're using it for mapping. We can also use it for masking or as an additional height value on the terrain. I can take the mapping from here. Let's make another color mix node. Plug this here, plug this here and plug this here. And let's change this value. So you see how it affects the terrain. Now, same as before, we can play with scaling, get these larger plates, torsion, chaos. Let's render it just to preview what we got. And I will again pronounce it a bit with this uh, intensity slider. I like the negative value better because it's like the, like the mountain is coming out from the ground. Well, let's see if it will work. Hit render. Okay, I think this looks great. You see those edges here. I think it's time to change the color of the material. Can go with this sandy blue. Yeah, this is nice and this will look nice uh, when we render it again. Let's just make it a bit darker, this blue color. So the sand will be a lot more visible. So we can render it again here. Let's go. I also want to show you some examples, some tests that I did previously. Okay, now here we have Heightmaster. 
I already talked about it. Torsion master, we'll, we have used it already. Then we have drive waves and rocker. Now let's go to height master. This is just a simple node, but also very useful. If I plug it here and change the clipping to something like this, and then we can lower down the terrain, which affects the whole terrain. And we can also uh, play with the clip mix. So it really depends what do you want. Do you want it to be totally flat on top or you want to inherit a bit of that original height value. So, okay, let's uh, preview it. Let's render it. Here we are. Let's see if we can make this terrain look a bit more interesting. I can make this one smaller, move it more towards the center and maybe even translate it a bit on wrong axis on Y. Oh yeah, yeah, this looks better. And we can leave this stepper, but I, I want to have more of those steps visible like so, something like this. And if we render it now, We'll get a preview and this is nice. Let's go with full resolution. Yeah, this looks a lot better. I'm aiming at this rocks and sand, but first let's see what they can do. So I can inherit this mapping for both of them. First, let's see what dry waves do. Not much now, but if I duplicate uh, this strength, and maybe lower it down to, I don't know, 100 and plug it here. I will get something. I don't like the rotation. Let me just check. The mountains are oriented in this way and the rotation of the sand goes in this direction. Let's rotate it 90 degrees, negative 90 and see what happens. Now the problem will be that these waves can go on top of the mountain, which we don't want, but we can solve that. So let's just preview this, okay, and this, okay. So let's make another mix node. Let's plug this here and plug this here. And now we'll see what I was talking about. If we plug it here, we'll see those waves are going all over the place. We see them here and here. And this is something that we don't uh, necessarily want. We can mask this out with a few different approaches. So first option is to use this mask value and plug it here. But this won't work. We can try to use the color ramp node like so. Plug this here, change this value to get a negative value. Let's preview it. Mm. Okay, more like so. Maybe we'll try to ease B spline. Okay, B spline might work. Let's see what we have now. Not what we wanted, but if we go and do this, we do have something. Now, I think we have to switch these. Oh, mix. Yes, 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 yes. We need to mix it. We can make it even weaker. Now, I don't like uh, what we have here. Let's just uh, lower this down a bit and also play with the scale. But I like how it's kind of surrounding the, the mountain or the hill, if you will. Or the hill, if you will. <laughs> uh, if you can do it offset. Ooh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes, yes. This looks yes. a lot better yes. already. Yes. Let's lower yes. this down yes. a bit to maybe 10. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. We can change the clip value here. Absolutely. Lightmaster will help us with it. Absolutely. Okay. I think this is a good starting point for our final design. So, Absolutely. But we're going to see. I'll leave this one here, Rocker, for the next video. Let's just first see what we got. Okay, kind of nice. Uh, for my taste, these 
cliffs here are too pronounced, these peaks, but I kind of like the composition. I like this uh, sand waves, you know, surrounding the, the mountain. And I think I will want to play a bit with other masks for the final design in the next video. So, you know, maybe to add some kind of passage here, something like that. We're gonna see. It has to look good. Okay, uh, that's all for now.